That's a stupid way to look at things. There's not a chance in hell that you know when things, two things world-class martial time. artists yeah. fight. Yeah. There's things no chance. All the time. Yeah, there's no chance you know. Joe Rogan, the influential voice in combat sports and host of the widely popular Joe Rogan Experience podcast, has issued a stark warning to Ryan Garcia ahead of his potential fight against Errol Spence Jr. Known for his candid commentary and deep understanding of martial arts, Rogan's words carry weight within the fighting community. Rogan didn't hold back in expressing his concerns about Garcia's potential matchup with Spence. With a sense of urgency in his tone, Rogan implored Garcia to stay away, a blunt and direct warning about the dangers posed by facing off against a formidable opponent like Spence. Rogan's warning stems from his recognition of Spence's prowess as a fighter. As a unified welterweight champion and one of the most skilled boxers in the world, Spence presents a formidable challenge for any opponent let alone someone like Garcia, who is still relatively early in his professional career. The warning reflects Rogan's genuine concern for Garcia's well-being. As a seasoned commentator and martial artist himself, Rogan understands the physical and mental toll that high-stakes fights can take on athletes. His admonition to stay away serves as a reminder to Garcia of the potential dangers inherent in facing a fighter of Spence's caliber. Furthermore, Rogan's words underscore the importance of careful consideration and strategic planning in the world of combat sports. While Garcia may possess exceptional talent and skill, Rogan's warning highlights the need for him to approach potential matchups with caution and foresight particularly when facing opponents of Spence's caliber. For Garcia, Rogan's warning serves as both a cautionary tale and a call to action. It underscores the need for him to approach his career with a sense of responsibility and respect for the inherent risks involved in professional fighting. By heeding Rogan's advice, Garcia can ensure that he makes informed decisions about his career trajectory and prioritizes his long-term health and well-being. Ryan Garcia's bold announcement of his bout with Errol Spence Jr. has stirred a cauldron of mixed reactions among boxing pundits. The social media sparring between Garcia and the former unified welterweight champion only adds fuel to the fire. When you fight Errol Spence, would you go to 154 for that? Whatever weight you want. Bro, that'd be interesting. That's an interesting fight, bro. Bro, I do. I know my boxing. I do. That's interesting, bro. That's bro, crazy. that's an easier fight than Devin. Bro, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to knock Aero Spence out within three rounds. Spence's declaration to conquer Garcia in his own weight class was met with swift retaliation as Garcia surprisingly revealed his impending clash with Spence. However, Garcia's recent doping controversy following his victory over Devin Haney casts a shadow over his upcoming bout with Spence. With tensions high and stakes even higher, all eyes are on these two fighters as they prepare to enter the ring. Garcia adamantly asserts his innocence and has formally appealed for his B sample to undergo testing. This sample will undergo scrutiny on May 22nd in the presence of the boxing superstar's legal counsel. While awaiting the outcome, Garcia seems to have identified his next potential adversary. Despite Spence's initial reluctance to entertain the idea of a showdown, Garcia has been engaging him on social media. Nevertheless, Garcia remains undeterred and has even taken steps to promote the bout with a custom poster. He claims to have reached out to his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, with a specific date in mind, signaling his determination to make the fight a reality. Following a fan inquiry regarding a potential bout with Garcia on a certain date, Spence Jr. graciously acknowledged the query, amplifying his response by sharing the post. In a confident retort, he asserted, I'll legitimately triumph over him at the Grand AT&T Stadium, fueled by his recent positive test. No need for warm-up fights on my end. Responding to Spence Jr.'s statement, Garcia didn't shy away, expressing his willingness for the showdown. In a reciprocal retweet, he boldly declared, Let's make it happen. I'm more than ready to end you and complete what Terence Crawford almost achieved. I'll be the one to seal the deal. Spence Jr. wasn't about to let Garcia have the final say. He swiftly retaliated, alluding to Garcia's defeat to Gervonta Davis last April, suggesting Garcia search elsewhere for an opponent. Despite Spence Jr.'s dismissal, Garcia stood his ground, even involving Spence Jr.'s partner in the verbal exchange. Garcia then took to social media, taunting Spence Jr. and boasting about a direct message exchange with Spence Jr.'s partner, asserting there were no repercussions. Boldly, Garcia challenged Spence Jr. to about at 160 pounds, 
daring him to make a move, emphasizing his readiness to confront both Spence Jr. and the truth. After publicly challenging Errol Spence Jr. on social media, Ryan Garcia intensified his stance by involving Golden Boy Promotions head honcho, Oscar De La Hoya, asserting that his legal team was ready to extend an official fight offer to Spence Jr. Garcia warned that Truth would be his forthcoming adversary if Spence opted to avoid the match. Garcia went a step further, sharing an edited fight poster, setting the proposed showdown for August 10th at AT&T Stadium with confidence in a packed arena, bidding farewell to Spence in advance. Following this bold declaration, Garcia's adversaries were anticipated to swiftly retaliate. Initially, Stevenson foresaw a tough bout for Ryan Garcia against Devin Haney, extending respect for Garcia's eventual victory. However, as whispers of a test failure circulated, Stevenson hesitated to retract his criticisms. When Garcia's loan announcement surfaced, Stevenson didn't hold back, accusing Garcia of fabricating claims about Errol Spence's girlfriend. It seemed Garcia took a page from his former adversary-turned-ally, Gervonta Davis, who recently stirred controversy with Frank Martin. Stevenson questioned the trend of lying about others' relationships for popularity, lamenting the oddities of the current generation. A fan rushed to Garcia's defense, citing trolling and marketing tactics. Stevenson wasn't swayed, delivering a comeback targeting both Garcia and his supporters, questioning the willingness to sacrifice integrity for fame. Despite the drama, Stevenson remained resolute, content with his own success, unswayed by the allure of hollow celebrity. Amidst the verbal jousting between Ryan Garcia and Errol Spence, the boxing sphere was captivated by Garcia's test setback and his subsequent efforts to disprove the accusations. Nonetheless, Garcia has cultivated a magnetic persona over the years, wherein every utterance and action elicits significant reactions. 154, you and Errol, 154. Bro, Perfect. you can't say anybody's doing it like me, bro. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Bro, but when I beat him, what will you say then? I don't, I don't, like, what are they gonna have to say then? Bro, yeah, they're gonna say you. Quit. They're oh, gonna God. say you cheated. They'll be so shocked again. <laughs> they're gonna say you cheated again. They're gonna be really, really. <laughs> they will. That's the funny part. But this time, I have a new plan. What? I'm. I'm gonna fight him. Nah, I'm not gonna say it. Say that shit. All right, <laughs> say buddy, that I'm, shit. I'm gonna beat him on on shrooms. Holy shit! Clearly, Garcia and his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, are relishing a peak moment, aligned in their decisions. Reflecting on Garcia's recent triumph over Devin Haney, De La Hoya appears buoyed, cautioning Spence with a hint of jest. He said, Trust me, Spence isn't ready for Garcia's pace. Raleigh Romero, who recently rediscovered his voice post his bout with Isaac Cruz, didn't hold back when discussing Ryan Garcia's upcoming fight against Errol Spence Jr. Instead of mere surprise or forecast, he confidently claimed that Garcia was mirroring his moves, just like everyone else. It's amusing how everyone trails behind my lead, he remarked. He added, Errol gets called out, and suddenly everyone's on board with whatever Raleigh's doing. I practically set the trends in boxing. My ideas? Always top-notch. That's just the way it is, no matter what anyone else says. Ryan's transition to mixed martial arts stirred up a storm, drawing swift reactions from Sean O'Malley. Without hesitation, O'Malley championed Errol Spence, dismissing Garcia's prowess. According to O'Malley, Spence's defeat against the pound-for-pound -pound king was justified. He further scrutinized Garcia's record, pointing out his controversial victory against Devin Haney and insinuating foul play in a previous match. O'Malley prophesied a grim future for Garcia, warning of a decisive loss to Spence and a potential end to his boxing career should he pursue such a path. Reflecting on encounters with Garcia, O'Malley hinted at fatigue and questioned his stamina during a recent gathering, raising doubts about Garcia's readiness for the challenge ahead. This scenario presents a clear departure from Ryan Garcia's recent tweet in which he confidently pledged a knockout victory over Errol Spence. Sean O'Malley's reaction swiftly followed, featuring a video where he humorously imitated Garcia's defensive maneuvers during his match with Devin Haney, particularly Garcia's tendency to turn his back to Haney. The relationship between O'Malley and Garcia isn't exactly one of close friendship. 
which sheds light on O'Malley's penchant for seizing any chance to playfully tease or criticize Garcia. In the midst of their ongoing heated exchange, UFC star Sean O'Malley recently aired his concerns about boxer Ryan Garcia's erratic behavior, echoing past accusations. O'Malley, known for his bold persona, has become a notable figure in combat sports. He attributes Garcia's behavior to potential substance abuse, particularly concerning performance enhancement since his rapid ascent to fame and subsequent bantamweight title victory in the UFC. This dynamic has caught the attention of peers in various disciplines, including boxing, where Garcia has positioned himself as a vocal contender for a potential showdown with O'Malley. Garcia caused quite a stir recently when he openly issued a challenge to Sean O'Malley for a showdown in the octagon, confidently asserting his ability to overpower him. However, things took a rather disconcerting turn as Garcia's demeanor swiftly became erratic and unsettling. Yo, Ryan, real quick, how's that work? Since you and Frank are cool, right? And Frank and Earl are cool. Um, I don't know, bro. I don't know what side he on. I don't really care. Doesn't that make it kind of weird in the, you know, in the gym? being nah. stable mates and shit? Nah, we cool. I mean, Errol gonna have to come see me, bro. It is what it is. It's business, baby, right? It's business. Nah, at and Stadium would be lit. You guys both reside in Dallas. That would be lit. If Frank beats um, Javante, I will have to fight Frank. You gonna go I'm to that fight, bro? Maybe. In a recent social media outburst, Garcia veered into the realm of the bazaar, making wild claims and expressing peculiar beliefs. Among them were allegations of being subjected to sinister experiences, including being bound and made to witness unspeakable deeds. He also ventured into the territory of extraterrestrial existence and clandestine organizations, weaving a web of outlandish assertions. Reflecting on the circumstances surrounding Garcia, Sean O'Malley conveyed compassion, recognizing the challenges he faces with medication. O'Malley expressed empathy, noting Garcia's behavior and expressing concern for his well-being. He underscored his desire for Garcia's recovery. Regarding the prospect of a crossover MMA bout with Garcia, O'Malley adopted a pragmatic stance, acknowledging the improbability of such an occurrence while remaining receptive to the concept. He asserted the unlikelihood of the matchup, but conveyed willingness to engage if circumstances permitted, affirming that any obstacles to the fight's realization would not be of his making. Errol Spence and Ryan Garcia's rivalry has really heated up, with Garcia rekindling the flames after a fight with boxing coach Derek James. Garcia accused Spence of neglecting payment for James' coaching services. James retaliated by suing Spence for fraud and contract breach post his match with Terence Crawford. The brewing tension between Ryan Garcia and Errol Spence transcends mere boxing rivalry, evident in Garcia's recent video where he teased Spence and vowed a knockout. In a rhythmic taunt, Garcia challenged Spence daring him to face the consequences in a showdown. Spence, in a terse response, hinted at making the fight a reality, leaving no room for doubt. It's clear that Errol Spence isn't dodging the idea of facing Ryan Garcia, even going as far as confidently stating he could beat him, branding Garcia a loudmouth for constantly invoking his name. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.